Hey everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. I hope everyone had a good couple weeks. I already see Arlo's back there in the background causing trouble like normal. I keep trying to get underneath the blanket. Alright, yeah, so last weekend I didn't film because my husband had to work and so then, yeah, timing just got off, so here I am today. I have lots to show you and I have three finishes. Okay. There we go. Mike's just going to lay under the blanket. Um, yeah. So what's been going on with me the last couple weeks? Nothing too, too exciting, I don't think. And, um, yeah, it's a really nice day today. Um, we're actually going, my son is going to another birthday party today, um, this afternoon. And then he was at a birthday party yesterday and he was at a birthday party last weekend as well. Lots of birthday parties. Um, and then tonight we are going to a trick or treat event at uh, kind of a little local amusement park called um, Starbuck Gardens. So we're going to that tonight. Um, yeah, and it's really nice weather today. Um, last week it was a little bit on the cooler side. <laughs> I think Friday, even Friday morning, um, some people had to scrape their cars. I just used my windshield washer fluid to defrost it, but, um, yeah. And then by the afternoon it was 15 degrees. So it is, uh. It was a weird week last week, but now it's a little bit warm again, so we'll we'll take that nice weather for sure. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else worth mentioning. As far as haul goes, um, I went to Stitches Central yesterday. I picked up some beads for one of my finishes that you'll see. That was the main thing, and I got. I just a skein of Week's Dye Works. Um, last weekend I did go to Goodwill and found these extender bars. Again, I don't love the frame I have, but if I can collect frame-like accessories that are still in the packaging for uh, $4.99, there's no harm in that. So I just picked those up. And, yeah, let's just get to it, I guess, to the stitching, because there's lots of that. All right, so I filmed on Thanksgiving Monday, so the 10th. All right, so what have I been working on since then? Again, no stickers yet. Kind of falling off the sticker bandwagon a little bit. But I'll try to get back on. Um, so yeah, last week, my first finish of the pile I have here is all the, the Frosty Flakes from the All Dolled Up series. So that he is done. So he even has a few little beads on him. But yeah, he's all done. So he was on my whip be gone list, so I'm doing pretty good on that list and I may have added one of my finishes to that list too. You will see. And then I worked on for a while was Modern Folk Embroidery 2022 sound. So I needed like 1200 stitches for the travel then for No New Starts. So that's looking pretty good. So that's basically January. And a little bit of February. I haven't put the name in yet because I'm just not sure what I'm going to do. And then this motif here is an option that Jacob gave you. So that's looking good. Even though I'm still a gazillion months behind. And then I worked on, 
So I've been trying to pull out some whips that haven't had any attention this year yet. So one of those was Bella Luna from Cross Stitch 2020 <laughs> magazine. Halloween of edition. So that's how she's looking. There's a lot of black. Oh. Yeah, her light eyes look good there. It is having issues with her eyes, but from afar her eyes look good. Just not up close. <laughs> they look terrible up close. And then last Friday night, the Stiach along started. Stiach along eight, so I've never partake, partaken in the Stiach along before, uh, but decided this year I would. Um, so I have the first release done. Um, after this video, I'll probably start on the second release and try to get that done um, before this evening. Um, so I am in the group. So we have teams. So I'm in Team Screaming Beavers group. So we are a Canadian team, obviously, by the name. And um, each week there are challenges. So we had to do a challenge last week with six. Yeah, to take pictures of ourselves. At, with It was a scavenger hunt. So um, at six different like kind of locations or doing something in my team one the team collage so that was very exciting this week's um challenge is uh to do a like a halloween costume party so obviously we are not near each other so we're trying to come up with some ideas about what we can dress up in and um uh yeah then make a collage or a video collage of um for a costume party so i'm going to try to come up with something to wear that's kind of canadian-esque we are going to check the trading thing i mentioned tonight so see if i can get a picture while i'm there for this team challenge we will see all right so let me show you the first installment of the Stiach Long. So it's a mystery Stiach Long. Um, if you're sensitive to words, I don't know what I'm trying to say. There's an inappropriate word, I guess, on <laughs> this um, um, section of the Stitch Long. Um, and I think it was done on purpose, obviously. Um, but so I will just show that to you, but be warned. So this is the first section of the mystery stitch along. Second session section has been released. That word did not go away. Um, but yeah, it's kind of fun. So that is what I've been kind of doing most recently. As far as like a, a group event, obviously I'm still in the No New Starts um, group and the travel event, which is still going well. I did uh, take up the admins on an offer to be swept up in a hurricane to move to the final leg of this year. We'll be um, continuing again next year and opening to new members probably the end of November, beginning of December. And um, that goes for the group as well, no new starts, but they're going to rebrand as Whip Warriors and there's going to be different streams. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely keep your eye out on Facebook. Look at those transitions from one group to another. All right, so then I 
had been working on Home for Christmas from the Cross Stitcher magazine. This cover photo right here was from 2016, October. This was a stitch along I was doing with um, Kathleen from Situation Normal. Boy, that took much longer than I needed. She finished hers in a timely manner. And here is my progress. But this was a challenge for like a thousand stitches and it added a lot. So very happy with how that's coming along. Yeah. There's a lot of colors to that. which is, this is the FGTV bookmark I was making for my son, Karen from KEB Studio Creates. She is the one that designed it and charted it for me. So thank you, Karen. I'm just trying to make it in bookmark form. So yeah, I just need to finish, fully finish it. Might be cutting the margins a little, a little close if I do it like that. With the dog man one, I just folded it over and literally stitched it together, which can maybe do it like that. Maybe. So that is done. That's how big it'll be <laughs> when I fully finish it. I really need to fully finish stuff. I did um, get out my Halloween stuff, a stitching, and put that out yesterday, finally. So that is out, but I haven't fully finished anything else. I don't even know the last thing I fully finished was. Oh well. So that's that. And then on the topic of stitching on things I hadn't stitched on. It's another piece. I also put this on my what be gone list. I don't have a lot to do on it still. This was a freebie from Priscilla and Chelsea. It's called Chelsea Chickens a couple years ago. My poor chicken is way too close to the snowman. Like by like three stitches or something. I don't know what happened. But he'll be fine. As long as he can get up on the little snow bank. He'll be fine. So I basically just need to finish the snow at the bottom and some snowflakes. So that might be doable for what we gone which ends the end of November. And then I worked on her healer skin Sorry for the skin tag. And very high class bag this is in. So the 2007 Santa. what he's looking like. Kringle. And I pulled out Kringles, which the, uh, you all know what Kringles looks like. Um, the cover page is lost in all the pattern pages. But Put out Kringles and I work my way up this brick side here. Okay, so I work my way up there and then across the top or the bottom part of the roof. Go 
because I figured having a starting point for the roof might be good. So that is, that was like 500 stitches I put on. Again, something that I haven't stitched on yet this year is um, this is a move and merrier piece from Blue Flower. I'm using mainly Leon Roxy conversion on it. That's him. I really like how this is stitching up actually. I wish I had have worked on him a little bit longer yesterday than the few minutes I did. And then last but not least, after I went to Stitches Central, I went and got some beads to finish the Imperial Crown by Shannon Christine. Um, it's always very shiny in real life. You can really, it's really picking it up. yeah there's a lot of beads on this and then again you can really see but I put her birthday at the bottom to 2022 um I still couldn't find any fuchsia beads or any beads yeah any fuchsia beads close to fuchsia beads that were the same as the beads at the bottom so the beads I picked were more like round beads, but I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. I don't know how I'm going to finish it. Um, believe it or not, I have ironed it. Not since I beaded, but I did iron before I beaded and that line wasn't coming out. So, whatever I do, I don't know. I have to pull it tight, that's for sure. Right. Um, a pillow would be nice, but I also don't want to uh, have to pull just the right side out. With all the beads. There's a lot of beads. Like at the end of the night last night, I could barely see from all the reflection of the beads. So that is that. Yeah. It's just so sparkly. It's just hard to see that not in person. Yeah. And then there's so many, there's a few beads that I just keep trying to move back into place. So I just need to figure out something and then do it. And then you can just, you can't see it, but I'm like looking at it over. <laughs> um, and then it will just be done and then I won't fiddle with it anymore so yeah that is what I've been working on I think I'll be back here next Sunday for regular scheduling programming but you never know one other thing that I've been looking into is that I've been I've been doing an online workout class me, Mondays and Wednesdays, but they're not doing the live classes anymore. So I need to figure out what I want to do moving forward um, as far as like a workout option that's not running. 
So I found a free option that I was going to look into. And then my husband um, suggested Apple Fitness. And I have my Apple Watch and my, we have all the Apple products. So, might look into that. Just because I have really enjoyed the workout classes that I've been doing online. So, yeah. All right. Well, I am going to go and get some stitching done. It's noon now. My son's birthday party that he's going to is at three. And that's all I know. All right, everyone have a good week and we'll talk to you soon.